Hello, this is Gary Oakes, and here is a WordPress tutorial on how you can actually add more formatting tools for when you are creating pages or posts within WordPress. This is achieved by adding a plugin called Tiny MCE Advanced. Let's now understand a bit more about how this works. Here's an example. So here I am now producing a new page in WordPress. I'm going to call it Test. And we have some ability to be able to put things in bold, italics, etc., etc. So we have some functionality here. And by clicking this one here, you can add more. But this is quite limited. It doesn't allow you to do tables, although it does allow you to insert columns. It doesn't allow you to justify text. It doesn't allow you to change the size of the text. So it is fairly limited. There is, however, a plugin which allows you to add more functionality to this, and I find it really useful. As already mentioned, the plugin is called Tiny MCE Advanced. So let's now have a look how to install it and configure it. So once in your dashboard, go to Plugins, Add New. In the keyword search bar here, type in Tiny MCE Space Add advanced and this is the one here so very popular over 1 million active installs if you'd like to know more details about the plugin click on the more details button and you can read about it here pretty popular and then it's got a high rating as well so I'm going to come out of this now so when you're ready you need to install it you will see something that says install now I've already installed it, so I'm just going to activate the plugin. So if we scroll down, and so here is the plugin here installed. You can click on the settings button to then configure the plugin. It's a fairly straightforward plugin to play with. So what you get here straight away, so if it enable the editor menu, you end up getting these extra ones at the top. So you've got for table, tools, and you can equally add in some of these. And it's just a case of which ones you like and dragging them over. So I'm going to put that one in there. I like to have some background color. I like to play with, what else can we do? Underline, I have to do some underline. I can also look at putting in a horizontal line. Formats is very useful. Show blocks. You by all means have a play. If you want to insert a video, insert time. And there's quite a few there. A number of things here you could have a look at. Font sizes, I like that one. So I'm going to check that one. I'm not going to do anything on the advanced and I'm going to leave the rest of it is. And now I'm just going to save changes. You'll also note under dashboard settings, you can access this here as well under tiny MCE advanced. So what does it look like now for our new page? If I just refresh this, you will now know we have these menu buttons at the top here. So if I drag down, you can insert a table. You can play with the table properties. You've got formatting, subscript, superscript, they're generally pretty good. Headings, view, insert. So we have these functions at the top here. Here's my justify. I can now look at font sizes and font family as well. So there's more functionality. It gives you more opportunity to make the pages. This can happen in pages or post, looking as you would like them to. It's a very useful plugin. And that's it. That's all I'm going to say about the Tiny MCE Advanced plugin. It gives you more functionality for posting pages. Hope you found this tutorial useful, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.